had a guy give me a box of the 200 grain DLDX Precision Hunters for the 300 Wind Mag to do a uh, high and low velocity test on them. So my first shot's gonna be a reduced load out of a 308 where I just pulled one of the bullets and loaded it in a 308 to simulate a longer range shot. Then I'll flop my blocks and shoot a high velocity load. It's a little dark out here and kind of hard to see, but that bullet uh, started opening up, coming through that wood block, and you got permanent wound cavity starting at almost four inches from the seven inch mark to, it's kind of hard to see on those blocks, but Say for almost 10 inches there you got good permanent wound cavity that uh, larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is almost four inches so not terrible on the low velocity probably should have loaded it a little bit hotter because that was going 1449 feet per second when it impacted but as you can see it's still uh Still definitely perform. And I'm gonna say it actually didn't perform worth a crap. That permanent wound cavity is because that bullet tumbled. It's sitting right here in the gel where I can probably reload it. So that wood block and that leather going that slow didn't even hardly damage that tip. I don't know if you can see it well there. So let's I'll have to speed it back up and do another test later. That near four inch uh, permanent wound cavity is gonna be right where that bullet took a heavy tumble. So it, it overall looks decent as well, really just uh, just tumbling. Tumbling came down, hit my board, and went back out there to where it rested. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I think Hornady only rates them down to 1,800 feet per second anyways. It's 350 feet per second slower than what it should be. But when you're doing most loads and not chronographing them first, they're definitely kind of guessing, so I'll have to speed that one up and do it again. But I'm going to go ahead and shoot uh, my high velocity load. Well, I thought I'd say that the is back. And it's sitting right there. Second block. We'll get stuff set up here. Oh. Rebel 
relatively accurate measurement here. That's impacted at 2,865 feet per second. Three-eighths to the leading edge. Oh, definitely destroyed that block. Tore on all four sides. That uh, good portion of that permanent wound cavity is from the one-inch mark to about the 12-inch mark where it stops. Lines. Pull it out of here and get a closer look at it. I get home I'll weigh it and do a weight retention on it I'll put that down in the comments not great not terrible but you know odds are hunting you're probably not gonna pack that high of velocity I think I shot one elk in my life at 15, 15 yards plenty of deer especially if you hunt out of a deer stand you're gonna shoot them at this range but I'm guessing at a, a hundred yards you've got four or five more inches of penetration but overall not great not terrible need to speed up that uh, round a little bit to see if I can get around that 2,000 feet per second mark and try it again because um, those permanent wound cavities when you don't catch bullets can be really deceiving because it can literally just be the bullets tumbling that one obviously showed at that lower velocity it uh, it definitely tumbled so hope you guys enjoy this video